ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಆಪ್ಯಾಯಂತು ಮಾಂಗಾನಿ ವಾಕ್ಪ್ರಾಣಶ್ಚಕ್ಷು ಶ್ರೋತ್ರಮಥೋ ಬಲಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯಿ ಚರ್ವಾಣಿ ಸರ್ವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋಪನಿಷದ ಮಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರ್ಯಾಂ ಮಾಮ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋತ್ ಅನಿರಾಕರಣಮಸ್ವನಿರಾಕರಣ ಮೇ ಅಸ್ತು ತದಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೆ ಯುಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮ ತೇ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ತೇ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನೋನ್ ದ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ so through three examples teacher come father uddalaka told his son come disciple shwetaketu that if you come to know the cause you will come to know all the effects the three examples were given mud example that is clay gold and nakakrantanam the nail cutter which is made up of iron if you know then you will come to know the effects of all that sapekshika karanam in example similarly the entire jagat that which is shining as this this idam idam tvena yah bhasate that which is shining in our experience as idam all the creation must have a cause from which everything is emerged so shweta ketu said perhaps my teachers don't know this had they known they would have told me but anyway oh father please teach me that vidya father said okay i will teach you thus 
in the first section of sixth chapter we have studied the conversation between the father and son the son's attitude after completing the course gurukula vas for 12 years and how this attitude was corrected by father by asking him a simple question have you been instructed in that knowledge that knowledge which you will know when the cause is known the effects will be automatically known so thus when the student asked teach me that vidya now the second section the vidya begins now we are not going into the bhashyam bhashyam takes a lot of time to study but essence without missing any point we will study so dvitiya kandah prathama mantra sadeva saumya idam agra asit ekamevadvitiyam taddhaika ahu ho asadeva idam agra asit ekamevadvitiyam tasmad asatah sajjayata सदेव सौम्य इदमग्र आसीत एकमेवाद्वितीय तद्धक आहु असदेव इदमग्र आसीत एकमेवाद्वितीय तस्मासत सज्जात नौ वाट वी आर स्टडिंग इज दट by the knowledge of one mula karanam the knowledge of the cause everything else will be known so we have to study the knowledge of the cause what is the knowledge of the cause mula karanam for the creation so if teacher can show that all the variety in the creation has come out from a single cause then this becomes easy to grasp it so the challenge is that all creation has come out of single cause there are no multiple causes everything has come out from a single cause so here now we will be entering into srushti prakaranam in chandogya upanishad in 6th chapter what we are going to see is srushti prakaranam that is how from one cause everything else in the creation has come about that's the first thing we have to see and we have to also know that if we know the essence of that cause everything else will be known so these two points we have to think so first topic is first let us see that brahma is karanam that is that adi karanam brahma as a cause if we know everything else becomes known so brahma vijnanena sarva vijnanam bhavati this is first fundamental part is that brahman is mula karanam that we have to see second part is that how to gain the knowledge of that brahman first to understand brahman as the mula karanam and by the knowledge of brahman we get the knowledge of all is the second part so now the question is how to know that brahman or what is that brahman or where is that brahman where can i search 
by knowing which everything else become known this is the question so in this teaching the teacher says that brahman which is mula karanam it is you only now this is the fact because when everything else has come from the brahman and we will see how the names and forms are a myth so there is only one essence that essence is you therefore that brahman is nothing but you alone tatvamasi so first teaching in this section in this in this uh, sixth chapter is that we have to see first tat in tatvamasi mahavakya tat is mula karanam mula karanam is tat and second part this teaches tvam padam that is who are you tat is mula karanam tvam is you who are you in essence shrota and to reveal the identity between tat and tvam is the asi part which is a third part because tattvamasi mahavakya upadesha will come in this section in this uh, chapter only sixth chapter so tatt is <coughs> mula karanam tvam is the shrota the listener the student and identity there is no union between these two when you say jiva has to unite with the paramatma that we don't accept there are so many mistaken 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 things are there in this if you say jiva will merge with the brahman one day that means jiva is not brahman now number 1 jiva is not brahman now means brahman is conditioned by jiva jiva is conditioned by brahman two entities have come there so duality therefore brahman is limited jiva becomes limited so there is no question of union there because there is we have seen in vedmekshadamani there is nobody like jeeva jeevatvam is there because of illusion so what is to be done asipada is not joining tat and tvam asipada means it reveals the identity between tat and tvam identity which has already been there it is not created it is not joined it is not merged so identity which has already been there is revealed through the teaching called asipada so now from second section of sixth chapter from this second section up to seventh section we will talk about srushti prakriya how the srushti has come out that is or we can say tatpada vicharanam up to seventh section so what is that tat referred as tat what is its nature how 
from that sat that is tat from that tat pada mula karena everything has come about so tat pada bicaraanam up to seventh section then in the eighth section we will see twam pada topic in eighth section twam pada that is who is twam here नाम रूप रहित चैतन्यम एट जीवा लेवल फ्रॉम द जीवा फ्रॉम द श्रोता और द स्टूडेंट नाम रूप आवरण व्हेन दे आर रिमूव्ड दैट इज रियल त्वम who am i that's the meaning so who am i not the false i not the errored i'm using a word errored i but the real i so that real i should be revealed so in eighth section the twam is spoken about and from ninth section onwards what is left brahman asipadam from ninth to 16th that is eight sections are there in these eight sections through eight different examples asipadam is revealed eight examples are given by the teacher to indicate that you are that tattvamasi shvetaketo tattvamasi shvetaketo tattvamasi shvetaketo tattvamasi shvetaketo eight examples are given but total nine times how nine times in eighth section also first time the teacher tells you are tattvamasi the tvam padame you are real tvam is that asi only tvam and tat is one that you are that pure consciousness that is first told so eight examples total nine times the teaching of mahavakya is told in this chapter that is sixth chapter of chandogya upanishad so this is how it is structured the body of the sixth chapter is first chapter is only bringing of teacher and student together through a story introduced second to seventh tatpadam srushti prakaranam eighth section is tvampada prakaranam tvampada Mm, understanding explanation and 9 to 16th through different examples asipadam is told so with that we will complete sixth chapter of chandogya upanishad which is very essential and this alone is taught seventh and eighth also is vedantic teaching only but with upasanas also are there now in this prakaranam the teacher says सदेव सौम्य इदमग्र आसीत द टीचर कॉल्स उपनिषद से दट मूल कारण इज कॉल्ड ए सत् मूल कारण इज सत् गिवेन ए नेम देर फॉर दिस चैप्टर डील्स विथ सत् एज अ मूल कारण and that sat is tvam asi o sveta keto so therefore this is called sixth chapter other name for sixth chapter is called sadvidya sadvidya so in this chapter brahma brahma vastu has got a name brahman has got a name it is called sat 
ओके नौ हियर सदेव सदी अस्थिता वस्तु सूक्ष्म निर्विशेषम सर्वगत एक निरंजनम निरवयव विज्ञान यदवगम्यते सर्वेदातेभ्य सत् सत् इज दैट इज एक्सप्लेन वाट इज सत् विच इज टेन्टल निर्विशेष एट्रिब्यूटल सर्वगत ऑल पर्वेडिंग एक वन विदउट ए सैकेंड निरंजन अंटेटेड निरवयव पार्टल फुल ऑफ एसेंस नॉलेज विज्ञान नॉलेज नेचर ऑफ कॉन्शियने विज्ञान रूप दैट विच इज नोन एज दिस द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सत् इज दिस हाउ डूड यू नो सर्व वेदातेभ्य थ्रू वेदात शास्त्र वि विल कम टू नो द नेचर ऑफ सत् इज दिस नो इफ यू कंटेम्पलेट ऑन दिस दट एक्चुअली यू वी शुड गो इन टू मेडिटेशन वाट कुड बी दैट विच इज अस्थिता मीनिंग मियर एक्सीस्टेंस विदउट एनी एट्रिब्यूट एंड इट सेल्फ इज विल टेक यू टू कंटेम्पलेशन नो एट्रिब्यूट मियर एक्सीस्टेंस प्योर एक्सीस्टेंस and that existence is is explained with so many visheshanas nirvishesham therefore when we are hankering after vishesha adjectives we are away from the truth in the great masters language hankering after some vishesh title for us that i am a speaker i am a speaker you are a listener i am a spiritual seeker i am uh, well educated my qualification is this retired as so and so i am working in this company i am a rich man and so many so adjectives we are identified with a bunch of these adjectives this identification with the bunch of these errors or illusions is called as glamour in spiritual literature and some of the great masters say that it is a glamour it is difficult to shed that glamour of physical personality attire conscious some people are attire conscious the dress conscious i must look like this only i must look beautiful i cannot accept a change when these attributes we are running after we are away from the truth here is brahma is what nirvishesham sarvagatam we can contemplate again like a space akashavat like space is sarvagatam wherever you go space is there if space is not there you cannot go there and there is no space without space there is no place where there is no space you go expand your self physical expansion there is no end sarvagatam and akasha is ekam se akashavat this pure existence also is one without a second niranjanam akasha is taintless so akasha is the contemplation that is akasha vat vat means like space if you contemplate on the nature of the space similar is the nature of brahman so niranjanam niravayavam akasha has no parts and why do we how do we know about these things attributes of sat attribute means these are all only lakshanas of sat only through vedanta एव शब्द अवधारणार्थ किं तद अवधीयत आह नौ वी मस्ट कम टू ए कंक्लूजन अबउट द नेचर ऑफ सत् बिकॉज सत् इज 
மூல காரணம் சத்தீஸ் மூல காரணம் ஸோ தெர்ஃபோர் இதம் ஜெகத் நாமரூப கிரியாவத் விக்ருதம் உபலபதே எத் தத் சதேவ ஆசீத் இது ஆசீத் சப்தேன சம்பத்தியதே நோ வாட் யூ சி ஆல் த நேம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஸ் திஸ் 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 இன்வெர்டட் காமாஸ் இதம் துவேன இட் இஸ் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் that we are seeing this jagat as this exists so all this is idantvena jagat nama roopa kriyavat vikrutam upalabhyate this modifications continuously changing jagati iti jagat that which is constantly changing upalabhyate yat tat sadeva asit all this is in the beginning was nothing but pure existence we have to study a lot of not had come round to immediately oh that not much only no sadeva vedamagra asit that's it understood no 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 this only teachers can make us understand one by one so agre sadeva saumya idam agre sateva asit first one இதம் அக்ரே மீன்ஸ் விவகார கோச்சரம் ஜெகத் திஸ் ஜெகத் நாமரூப கிரியாத்மகம் ஜெகத் விச் ஈஸ் அவைலபிள் ஃபார் அஸ் டு டூ விவகார பிகாஸ் ஆல் தி ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் பாசிபிள் ஓன்லி இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்டு ஸோ திஸ் விவகார கோச்சரம் சர்வம் இதம் ஜெகத் சர்வம் இதம் துவேன பாசதே ஆல் திஸ் jagat with names and forms idam 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 before this agre means before this all this before they manifested before these names and now forms have come up come into existence what was there eva that is pure existence alone was there so agre means what before before means what before srushti before the creation before the creation all these names and forms of jagat the world was in the form of pure existence sadeva idam agra asit he somya now kada sadeva vidam aasit ityuchyate aage aage ban sare agre agre jagatah prag utpatte he when was that all this was in the form of pure existence agre before the creation before the creation there was nothing except pure existence this is try to understand first intellectually only intellectually intellectual correct understanding if you get it you will it will reveal the truth so in the buddhi we should understand buddhya sukshmaya sukshma buddhya sukshma buddhi ke dwara we should understand this so pure existence alone was there there is no nama no rupa no guna no kriya no vishesha no sambandha no transaction no vyavahara no plurality no nothing there is no thought in that he that existence is not even conscious of his existence he just exists in puranic languages it was just mentioned that paramatma is before srushti he was in yoga nidra is only language but vedanta paribhasha is pure sat 
Because when you say Purana is only for us to train ourselves, the facts, the symbolism through symbolism, through stories, some stories which have happened in the universe, in the different loka related to reality. But the truth is pointed out. Because when you say Yoga Nidra, immediately we imagine Vaikuntha Narayana sleeping on the serpent bread, Lakshmi at his feet, <coughs> and Narayana in Yoga Nidra, and there is a milky ocean, waves are rising. Perhaps the snake is wagging them in the tail, with the tail, moving here and there. And we will see all around space, nothing is there. That is not. Pure Sat existence. Now, Purabhakshi asked, Kim, na idanim idam sad eva sad ena na agra asit iti visheshyate. Agre asit iti visheshyate. Purabhakshi asked, Purabhakshi asked a question. Sir, when you say agre, before the creation it was sat, that means now it is not sat. Poor Sat, what happened? Broken into pieces? See? Kim na idanim idam Sat ena agra asid iti visheshyate Specially visheshana Specially you stretch the point Is it not Sat now? So, Acharya answers no, don't read this Bhashya while I'm talking, talking. Or you read Bhashya, I'll keep silent. Now the question is, when you ask it, what happened to that Sat now? So, so many complications are there in this. So many problems are there. No, Acharya says, na na na, there is no Katam Tarivisheshanam Idanim api idam sadeva. Even now, it is sat only. Then why agre? So therefore, sadeva asit is the sentence, no? Asit means in the past. It was. So it was pure existence. When? Before the creation of Nama Rupa, Jan Sasunya, without this Nama and Rupa Vyavahara, it was pure existence. But now, now also Sat alone is there. But that Sat is not pure existence alone, but it is with Nama Rupa the Sahitam. Nama Rupadi Sahitam. Now we have to analyze this. So previously, Sat alone was there before the creation. Sat alone was there without Nama and Rupa. But now, during the creation, it is available associated with Nama and Rupa. So, in, when it was pure Sat, there was no Vyavahara possible. Now, it becomes Vyavahara Gocharam. Hmm. So, transactionless Avyavahara Gocharam, Avyavahara Sat became Vyavahara. Okay. So, It is not that Sat has become Vyavahara Gocharam. We will see another slowly. It is not because of Sat that there is Vyavahara. But because of Nama Rupa there is Vyavahara. Transaction is not because of Sat. In Sat there is no transaction. The transaction is happening in Nama Rupa. So in pure Sat no Vyavahara possible. So, now when Nama Rupa is there, Vyavahara can take place. So, Agre means what? Before the manifestation of Nama and Rupam. 
now we have to study karya karana sambandha now vajar shankara bhagwan gave one example here idam agre asit somebody in the morning he was going from his village to some other village when he was walking in his own village he saw the potter brought huge lumps of clay is ready all lumps of clay was kept there and he went he saw that the potter was keeping the lumps of clay ready and he went to his own work and he came back afternoon about 2 or 3 o'clock there is a various pots and cups and saucers and so many things then he said idam agre before the creation of these pots there was only mud now this example is only to understand agre shabda agre that's it you should not stretch the example that means mud has diminished mud is transformed mud is changed mud is modified into all this that understanding should not be taken this example is only to make us understand agre it was pure mud clay before it is brought out as various manifestations of pot saucer cup etc so what is this common now between karyam and karanam karanam is satvastu karyam is nama roopam nama roopam but only sadeva asit in the beginning even now also sat alone is there plus nama roopa now the question is what is the karanam sat cause is sat because without sat nama roopa cannot come what is the effect nama roopam so but what is the substance with which karya is made what is the substance with which pots are made same mud only so substance wise there is no vastu bhedah nasti between karya and karanam there is no vastu bheda vastu is one otherwise you have to ask you now where is that now so therefore what is the difference then difference is only in avastha difference is only in avastha but not in substance clay avastha ghata avastha two conditions avastha bheda is there but not vastu bhedam okay now see very careful listen karyam that is effects contains very very attentively listen very attentively listen listen with attention very attentively karyam contains substances what substances with nama and roopa so substance plus varieties of nama roopa is seen in karyam then karanam is what karanam is you should say contains substance without nama roopa so karanam is same substance vastu without nama roopa you come to a conclusion that karanam is vastu without nama roopa is karana avastha vastu with nama roopa is karya avastha okay when you further enquire 
the statement is wrong what did we say vastu with karyam karanam karanam the substance karanam with nama roopa and karyam me manifested so karanam contains material without nama roopa karyam contains material with nama roopa it looks very fine no problems but there is a problem what suppose you say karanam contains material without nama roopa sat is there sat is without nama roopa it contains material without nama roopa and karyam contains material with nama roopa now the question is if you say karanam doesn't contain nama roopa then where from nama roopa has come into existence if you say in karana avastha there is no nama roopa then in karana sthiti that which is not there how can it express in karyam understood this what would you say karanam is without names and forms if is a karanam contain no name and no form karyam contains name and form substance plus name and form substance is okay but in karanam there is no name and form you say karyam name and form has come how is it possible that which is in karanam only should come as a name and form in a karyam that which doesn't get in effect in cause you don't find name and form how can you find this say so non existent nama roopa cannot come into the effect because sat you said nama roopatmakam rahitam oh ho so answer should be karanam contains nama roopa in unmanifest form so we cannot say nama roopa doesn't exist in karanam in karanam nama roopa exists in unmanifest form that is potential form if is a karanam contains nama roopa not as potential form then there is no differentiation between karanam and karyam both are containing nama roopa so therefore karanam contains nama roopa in avyakta sthiti form unmanifest form so unmanifest name and forms when they brought into manifestation it is called creation so we say avyakta nama roopam avyakrutha nama roopam is the sat in with nama roopa in the pure existence so we say before the creation of pot clay alone was there that means clay plus all the nama roopa in unmanifest to form exist in the clay meaning clay has got potentiality to express itself in different forms and shapes the oceanic water has got inherent potentiality to express in the form of waves gold has got the inherent potentiality to transform itself into different ornaments
So everything, like just as a spherical, you take spear of clay, you take a circle, mathematically. Circle indicates Purnatvam. Circle, you take circle. What is the greatness of circle? All the possible, infinite possibilities of different sizes and shapes are encircled by a circle. Within the circle, all forms are included in a sphere. In Purnatvam, therefore, clay plus Avyakta Namarupam is Karanavastha. Clay plus Vyakta Namarupam is Karyavastha. Therefore, in both the states, the material is one and the same only. What is the material? Clay. Here, what is the material? Sat. So one more point, important point. So when Nama Rupas are in the unmanifest form, we said it is not useful for any Vyavahara. So Nama Rupa is in unmanifest form in Karana state and Nama Rupa appears to be as good as not there. Is it not? In Karana Vasta, Nama Rupas is as good as not there because they are unmanifest. Right. So, we call it as clay only. Otherwise, we have to refer Karana Vasta as, every time we say Karana cause, cause plus unmanifest, clay plus unmanifest parts, we have to add that every time. So, we thought it is as good as not existing, therefore we say only clay. Before this creation, it is as good as names and forms are not existing. Therefore, we call it as Idamagre Sadeva Asit. Sadeva Asit. Okay. So, in Vyavahara Karya Vastha, we are totally engrossed in Nama Rupa. With Nama Rupa, without Nama Rupa, no Vyavahara is possible. Okay. So, very beautiful. Forget the cause that is clay. And involved in Nama Rupa, it is equal to Samsara. Forget the Nama Rupa, go merge back into Sat, realize that you are Sat, it is called Moksha. So now, therefore, shift has to be from Nama Rupam to that pure Sat which is existing. If you are caught up in the names and forms of different parts on mud and all, then you are bargaining in the shop, color coding, color, combination, size, and so much of attachment to mud. You, all muddy headed fools go there and attach it to mud and bring, and in between it breaks and great sorrow, disappointment. Oh my God, what not happens with the pot? And some people purchase pot for summer drinking water and uh, by mistake within one hour it breaks. And so much sorrow. All are parts only. But I like this color combination, that color combination, that color coding. Oh God. So therefore, if we remember the Sat, it is liberation. Okay. Now, Before the creation, there was Sat Brahman with Avyakta Nama Rupa. Okay? This is clear understood. Nama Rupa was existing in Sat but in Avyakta form, unmanifest form. Then comes a very important question, philosophical question. What happens or what is the status of Nama Rupa, names and forms? Are these names and forms independent of Brahman? 
that is do they have any locus standi of their own that is do they have any swatantra satta independent existence names and forms independent of brahman or do we say these names and forms are the integral part of the brahman sat understood no what is the stand point of names and forms be attentive are they integral part of brahman or independently existing in sat so there are two possibilities what are they either they should be a part of brahman or independently existing so what do you opt answer na if it is integral part it is duality it is integral part it is vishishta advaitam sorry vishishta advaitam if it is separate it is dvaitam so with either propositions advaita bhanga advaita khandanam is taking place <laughs> so either it should be distinct or vedanta gives a peculiar answer it is neither it is neither the part of brahman nor separate of from brahman then what it is anirvachaniyam Indis- indeclinable indescribable indeclinable anirvachaniyam so suppose nama roopa the distinct existence apart from brahman then it will be duality brahman is limited by the nama roopa nama roopa is also limited by brahman so this nama roopas which are you seeing which is idam tvena bhasate cannot be separate from brahman if it is separate duality comes duality means all problems dvaitam will be there so advitiyatva bhanga takes place if you say that names and forms are integral part of brahman okay they are part of brahman only what do i say it is called विशिष्टाद्वैतम द्वैतम विथिन दट इज विथिन वन एनकैप्सुलेटिंग ऑल अदर स्मॉलर थिंग्स ऑल जीवाज आर इन नारायण द अंश अंशी जीवाज आर अंगांगी भाव अंगी इज नारायण अंग इज जीव part and whole relationship is vishishta advaitam so this problem comes so mod if then what happens if it is part of brahman names and forms are part of brahman so then any modification in the name and form will create modification in brahman also because names and forms are part of brahman so names and forms are modified so brahman is modified <laughs> brahma vastu vikam vikara vastu oh god think when part is disturbed whole is disturbed if the names and forms are integral part of brahman then brahma becomes savikaram not nirvikar okay sir what is the problem let us accept brahman as the sat the names and forms cannot exist independently let them be with brahman what is your problem then that is the case brahman is modifying meaning brahman is asti jayate vardate viparnimate vilasyati apakshiyate 
Vinashyati, Shadvita, Vikaras are there. All those things also will get to Brahman only. Brahman is modifying, Brahman is changing, Brahman grows, Brahman shrinks, Brahman dies, Narayana. All problems will come. And such a Brahman, if you are worshipping, you become Maha Sansari. Because he is a Buddha Sansari. Changing, Vikaravan. Therefore, we cannot say that the names and forms are neither distinct from Brahman nor an integral part of Brahman because it is Mithya. Mithya's appearance, false appearance, due to Maya only. Maya is behind Karanam. Mithya. So, Brahma Satyam, Jagat Mithya. Because, you know, an unreal thing, Mithyam is unreal thing. Can you say, can you speak about unreal thing as a part of something or a separately separated existing? Both you cannot say. An unreal thing can be the part of something else, nor can independently exist. Therefore, it is neither the integral part of Brahman nor separate from Brahman. Therefore, the status of name and form is anirvachaniyam. This is, it is called drushti srushti vada, srushti drushti vada, two vadas are there. One is creation is there, I am seeing it. Other is Creation doesn't exist actually. Creation asti, I am seeing what it exists, no. It is there because you are seeing it. If you don't see it, it doesn't exist. Example, in deep sleep you are not seeing, it doesn't exist. So it is in your perception. So therefore, Sadeva Idamagra Asit He Saumya Ekameva Advitiyam That Brahman cannot be touched. It is Advitiya Brahma. There is no question of duality there. Names and forms can neither be integral part of Brahman nor they are capable of separately existing. Both are wrong because it is Anirvachaniyam, it is Mithya. So there is no challenge to Advaita-ness of Brahman. But even though Brahman is one, some people say before all this, they say there was no Brahman, there was non-existence. Asadeva idamagra asit. Tadhi, some people speak about that. It was all asat, not sat. That we will see tomorrow. Om Purnamadaha, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamadachate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Vasishate, Om Shanti, 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 Arihi Om Sri Guru Bhyonamaha, Arihi Om Sadgurunath Maharaj Ki Jai.